But there's four key areas that are most important for learning to read. So there's one um, that's more towards the back here called the letterbox. Um, and um, it recognizes letters and words. And it's very fascinating because it um, develops its um, sensitivity or specificity to letters, um, you know, after kids are introduced to them. So it has a different role when they're infants, but then it changes in response to the environment. There's three other areas. Uh, one that's you know primarily involved in oral language and sound processing, language processing, and one that helps us map the oral language that we've been hearing since infancy onto the graphemes, the letters uh, over time. And then we have the CEO of the reading brain, uh, um, which is an area more towards the front of the brain. And that area helps us um, uh, to integrate what we read into a bigger picture. So it's involved in reading fluently and comprehending what we read. And so if we you know, look at it over the different stages of learning to read, we have these various brain areas that are you know, developing and, and evolving Evolutionary, um, they were designed to do something very differently. So we have to repurpose these brain areas for learning to read, and we have to make sure that these brain areas communicate with each other and build the reading network. And so that's a very complicated process um, that requires you know, time, patience, but also good instruction from you know, the educators, but also the caregivers and parents in the child's life.